Welcome to Tammy Rap Studio. In this video, I will be testing a new option for showing white with watercolor. It's Uni Posca marker. It came as a set white with black. So let's try using both of them in combination with watercolor for painting this adorable sheep. If you watch my videos, you know that white gouache is my preferred method for restoring white when I paint watercolor. But I'm always on the lookout for new materials, so I saw these markers recommended by someone and I was really interested in those brush tips. So let's start our quick test by sketching our subjects on a piece of watercolor paper and I'm going to paint them, not exactly following the colors that I see in the reference photo. It's pretty monochromatic. I will do something more colorful. On my channel, I have a whole playlist on painting animals so if you watched some of these videos you will know that my preferred palette is bright colors that I come up with myself and I even have a class about painting pet portraits and where I explain how to select those colors and how to mix them to achieve a realistic painting but not exactly copying what you see in the photo I will leave you the link in the description it's called painterly pet portraits so I'm just picking the colors that I like I almost never use this cobalt green so I want to use that one and also love all the yellows and pinks so I'm going to use them for my painting as well. So I think this is all I'm going to do with watercolor. I am on purpose avoiding darks because I want to add darks with my marker as well. So let's see what these markers look like. I took them out of plastic and the next thing I need to do is take off those protective rings on the ends. It took me a minute to figure it out. This plastic on the end, it's not part of the pencil, it's just covers the button that starts the flow of paint. You have to press quite a few times to get the paint flowing. Once it does, that brush tip seems very convenient to use. You can vary the thickness of the line very easily. I definitely prefer that to those uh, felt tip pens where you just get one thickness and that's it. You have to switch marker to get different thickness. The white one is not super opaque. It's kind of semi-transparent. So it will probably take a few layers to cover darker areas with it. But this actually gives me more flexibility because I can use one layer if I need just to lighten certain area and I can apply several layers if I need an opaque white. Okay, let's put these markers to use. I'm squinting while looking at my reference photo, trying to find the darkest areas. And when working with a line tool, it's very important not to surround your subject with a solid line. The line needs to breathe, so it needs to have gaps, and that gives your a painting an effortless and kind of painterly feel, even though you're working with a liner tool. The flow of paint is very steady in the marker and like I said that brush tip it's pointy and it's soft but it has enough snap to it to where I can very easily control and vary the line thickness. So I would say this is a great sketching tool. I have another set of this Posca markers multicolored chubby version with flat thick tips. I use that a lot for large scale acrylic paintings in combination with acrylics but this brush tip set is I would say it's great for watercolor and they come in different colors as well now that I started using them I think a multicolor set might be actually good for mixed media sketching in combination with watercolor and maybe maybe even with gouache something to put on my shopping list <laughs> 
All right, I think that's enough of black. To give those black lines a little support, so to say, I'm going to darken certain areas around them with watercolors so that black lines don't just, you know, hang there in space. They're part of a shadow area. So just a few strokes of watercolor. <music> Now we can use white so you won't be able to see it very much but I'm just correcting the edges on the ship's faces where watercolor ran over a little bit too much so I'm cleaning up the edge with that white marker and like I said it's semi-transparent so in certain areas I'm applying one layer and in some areas where I need to have pure white I have to apply two three layers to get the opaque color. Okay, my painting is done. Here is my piece painted with um, watercolor and acrylic brush tip markers. Let me know in comments what's your favorite tool for restoring whites in watercolor. And if you know of a good brand of markers that would be suitable to use with watercolors, I would appreciate your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one here on Tamirab Studios channel. Help other artists to see this video by liking or sharing it. To see future videos, subscribe and click the bell button to be notified when they're published. Thanks again and stay creative!